Rockler's mixing made Paintland look a little cobbled together to me at first, but I would find out later that this thing works great. This specially designed auger mixes the paint very quickly and very thoroughly. The white ring is a seal that fits a quart can perfectly. The black arms swing underneath the rim of the can when you pull a lever on top of the lid, and that secures it and seals it to the can. This thumb operated lever opens the paint spout, but it also uncovers this bleed hole that lets air in so the paint pours out smoothly. And this is the spout where you pour the paint. When you release that lever, this cover slides across the top of the spout and seals it. I'll bet that a lot of thinking went into designing this auger, because as I'll find out later, this thing works better than I expected. And when you're done with the Rockler Mixing Mate paint lid, the auger and the handle come apart, and that makes it a lot easier to clean up. This can of water-based latex has been sitting on my shelf for over a year, so I figured this would be pretty well settled out. And this is where I started thinking the Rockler was going to hate me for this test, because this isn't pretty well settled out. It's totally settled out. There's clear water on top. But they say that this lid mixes very well, so this should be a really good test for that. I had to sort of push the auger down through the paint, because it was real thick down in the bottom where it all settled out. I got the unit flush on top of the can, and then flipped the levers to lock the cams in place. The first two or three times around, the handle turned pretty hard, but then it smoothed out. I guess that's when the paint got mixed up. I stopped turning the handle after about 30 seconds because it was turning very smoothly and I figured either the paint was mixed or was all balled up on the auger and I was going to make this thing look real bad. So then I tried dumping some out onto a paper plate and guess what? The paint looked like it was brand new like I just bought it a year ago. And here it is, all nice and white and what really gets me is there's no lumps in it. There's nothing. It's nice and smooth. I promise you, I could have spent a half an hour with a stick stirring this up and not got it this smooth. And here's the no-drip spout. There really is no drips. A little piece of paper towel is all you need to clean up the spout. I undid the latches and lifted the mixing mate out of the can and set that aside for the time being so I could see inside the can. Sure enough, everything in the can looks just like that bit we poured out. And there's no paint on the rim, so I can seal the can up again easily. The wife wasn't home, so I quick took it to the kitchen sink and hosed off most of the latex paint with the sprayer. And I pulled out the handle and the auger, cleaned them up a little better, and used an old paintbrush to get the rest of the paint out of the t underside of the lid. The whole cleaning process took just a couple of minutes. Rocker's Mixing Mate paint lid is compatible with oil-based or water-based paints, so you can clean it up with solvent if you need to. Just make sure that you're using a solvent that's compatible with the paint. Then I just rinse the stuff off and set it aside to dry. I have to say that initially I had my doubts about this Rocker Mixing Mate paint lid, but I'm sold now. This thing works great. And in case you're wondering, Rocker tells me that they're coming out with a gallon-sized version before long.